Hey everyone, welcome to episode 4 of Cracking the CSWE. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the CAM mace inside of an assembly. Now, we did cover this mate, like I said, in the outro of the last video, but we're going to be going a little bit deeper. So, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be reminded of any future videos. And with that out of the way, let's just get right into the video. This is going to be the shortest video, as most of the things that we are going to go over in this video have been covered in episodes 11 and 12 of Zero to CSWP. What we will be doing in this episode is looking at the specific type of question you might see, and as well look at a similar assembly to what you might see on the exam. First, let's get this assembly into SOLIDWORKS by opening up the assembly, which you can download from the GrabCAD link in the description. We can see that all the parts are defined except for the slider, the cam, and the follower, which we know from the dash or negative sign in brackets beside the part in the feature manager design tree. We can drag them around to see the degrees of freedom we have as well. Now first, what we will want to do is mate the follower part to the path so that the follower follows the path. This is a cam motion because it follows the surface. To do this, we can either use a cam mate or a tangent mate. To use a cam mate, the surface we would follow needs to be closed, meaning the ends are connected. We can see the ends are not connected, so instead we'll need to use a tangent mate. The questions you'll see will be relatively easy, just asking us to find either maybe a distance between two faces or finding the center of mass when the assembly is in a certain position. You already know how to do this from the CSWP series, so I won't waste your time with every different way this can happen. As an example, we can mate these two faces to be three inches apart. And then see the distance between these two back faces of our part. That is really it. Again, this video is short for two reasons. Firstly, you should already know the evaluation tools to answer questions you'll see. And secondly, because if I were to go into more depth, it may reveal the actual exam too much, which would not be fair to you taking it, as I only want to cover what is needed to know to pass the exam, the content, and not actually cover the exam itself. In the next episode, we're going to be looking at making part modifications. We did learn about this again in the Zero to CSWP series, but we're going to be going a little bit deeper and looking at things you might see in the CSWE exam. So I'll see you in that video.